to the buzzing of the beat. So here, um, in Saudi and in all the other Arab countries, you'll see people with these uh, sticks. You might be wondering why they got sticks in their mouths. You know, is it kind of like a, a country man putting, you know, a piece of wheatgrass or something in his mouth to clean his teeth with? And that's exactly what this is for. It's called a miswak, and it actually has some chemical properties in here that is extremely beneficial for cleaning your teeth. Stay hygienic. From the stars to the moon, your dominion is so vast. So we have arrived to the uh, location where the where people have their little setups. It's like this. Yeah, I'll get there. We just keep trying until we get to one. Uh... All right, so we're gonna go see if they have any halib here at this one place. Check it out. Assalamualaikum. Al yujada halib abel? Na fi halib ain. Hanak? Aywa? Okay, Tayyip, so he said he's going over here. There's a bunch of good guys here. Assalamu alaikum. Hal yujada halib abel? Fi? And then they've got this, and he's going to have one bowl. 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 So they, it does appear that they have some here. I'm gonna to try to fill up this uh, about five liters worth of milk, inshallah, and I'll have that in my fridge. Be in that. So this is Zamzam, and Zamzam, Allah will reward you for what your intention is for drinking it. So whatever you ask Allah when you're drinking it, you know, it's like a dua, Allah will accept it, inshallah ta'ala. So we ask Allah for any good stuff. And what was amazing, what I just actually recently learned was that Umar, radiallahu anh, who was one of the uh, companions and best friends of the Prophet Islam, he was the second uh, caliph after Muhammad, his dua whenever he drank Zamzam was, Oh Allah, let this quench my thirst on the day where no thirst will be quenched. So we ask Allah for this amazing dua. We ask Allah to bless us. And to <laughs> Ameen, brother. Ameen. Ameen. I want, this is my dua right now. Ameen. Ameen. Ya Allah, please. Assalamu alaikum. How are you? Sometimes you just gotta go out on a limb and make some friends. Yeah, here is... Oh, mashallah, look at this. That was fast. Yeah. So right now what's happening is one of the, the ways that they get them to produce the milk is that they have the, the baby of, of the napa, uh, the female camel, it's going to come and it's going to drink the milk or it's going to make her think that it's drinking the milk so that that way she'll produce the milk. Because if you don't do this sometimes, you won't be able to extract it and take it out. Hey, well. Okay. Okay. Um, you just take this and you strain it because there is some, you know, dirt and stuff that comes off. So, and then, Bismillah, Tawakkalna ala Allah. It's good to me. What we have right here, guys, is camel urine. And this is, despite what the, the Islamophobes and the Orientalists want to insult against it, this is a medicinal cure for different types of sicknesses. So it's not that you just go drink it at any time and then halas, it's gonna heal you from different stuff. No, it's used for different ailments and then you'll learn from local people what are those ailments and how the urine goes. And you don't just drink it straight up. You mix it with a little bit of milk, some other stuff, and it's only when you're sick. So it's not something that's like a vitamin that you drink at other times. So this is where they keep all the babies. Yeah, they're all kind of big. They are pretty big. Alhamdulillah. It'd be good to buy one at this size, raise it, mashallah, and have it to, you know, These are hashi. On. These are hashi. Oh, these are for eating. Well, all the men are for eating. Hashi is, is the boys. They don't need but one and 20 women, right? So, the boys end up becoming the hashi. And the women, they'll grow up and because, you know, they can increase their herd that way. From the wind to the trees to the buzzing 